Hello my friends, today we are in Photoshop and I'm going to show you how to create this awesome panels effect. This is really, really easy to do. It only takes a few steps, so just follow along and you should have no problem. First thing first, we have to open a new document. I'll make this one 3840 by 2160 and I will click create. Now that we have our document open, we have to bring in an image. Uh, I will go to file, place embedded, and I have, where is my image? Isn't my downloads? I have this image I got from pexels.com and I will open it. I do want to make it just a little bit larger. So I'll hold down shift and option to enlarge it from the center. And that looks good to me. Click OK. Great. Now we have our image. We have to start creating our panels to create the panel. Take this uh, tool over here, it's the rectangle tool. With the rectangle tool selected, we will draw our first rectangle. So I will go with something like that. Now you can make it any color you want. You can go over here into the color and you can change it to pretty much whatever you want. It does not matter. Just make it a color that you can see it. I'll make mine red for the time being. And now we have our rectangle and we want to add a stroke and a drop shadow. I'm going to make my picture invisible for now so I can work with this rectangle and see exactly what's happening. Double click on the layer and this will bring up the layer style dialog. And here first I want to add a drop shadow. So click here near drop shadow, make sure you have black as a color, there's multiply. And then you can set your angle, how you want your shadow to go. Let's see, I will go with something that doesn't look bad, something like there. And then for the distance, I have 10. For the spread, I have 6. And the size, I have 27. And I like the way my shadow looks. And then one other thing we will add is a stroke. So click on your stroke. And here I have white was a color. You can click on the color and choose whichever color you want. I have mine on white because I want to add a white stroke. And then the size I have nine. The position I have it inside. You don't want the stroke outside. You want it the inside. And blend mode, linear light, opacity 85. Let's make it 100 and we'll go with that. Click OK. Now we have our rectangle. We have to decide how many of these guys we want and I will go with six of them. So I have to duplicate this layer six times. To duplicate it, I'll do Command J and then I'll keep doing Command J until I end up with six of them. So that's four, five, six. There we go. We have six rectangles. So now we'll go to our first rectangle and go Command T to transform it. And I'm going to angle it maybe something like that. Great. Maybe I'll put it lower a little bit. You know what? Let's make our picture visible so we can see what we're doing. So that's our first one. Let's go to the next one. Say Command T. And this one, we'll move it something like that for the third one. I'm just going to move them a little bit out of the way just so I can see better what I'm doing. And then I'm going to reposition them again as needed. So now I'm just roughly kind of adjusting them. Every one of them, I will just move them. All right. So that is that. And now I'll go again to the second one. And let's see, maybe we want to rotate this one a little bit to the right. Whoops. Make sure you have the move tool selected. And I will put it somewhere. Command T, I will rotate it a little bit. You just want to make it look as good as you can. I'll go to the bottom one again, Command T. I'll get it. It's a little bit too big of a gap over here. So I'll just get it a little bit closer, something like that. Then I'll go to the third one, Command T. 
Uh, this one, let's see, I will move it somewhere around there. And uh, the fourth one, Command T. You can put this one straight up and down next to each other. You can pretty much arrange them the way you want. They don't even have to be rectangles. They could be squares. They could be whatever. But I will do it like this for this tutorial. Command T into the next one. And let's see, this one we want to angle it maybe this other way. Maybe that's too much. Just something like that. And then the last one, Command T. And we'll do this one outwards. Something like that. Or inwards. How do we want to do this one? I'll go outwards. Great. Maybe a little bit lower. And that's our rectangles. Now we need to put the images, the image really, into inside of the rectangle. So here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my picture image and put it all the way on the top. Something like that. I'll reduce the opacity. And now I get to move the picture around until it's positioned where I want to. So I will go with this for now. Maybe even make it smaller. Command T, Command 0 to see the whole screen. And I will make it smaller from the center. I'm holding down Shift and Option to make it smaller from the center. And I will go with that. Now I'll put the opacity back at 100 and I'll move it back on top of my background. Great. Now we know the picture is where we want it. I don't need it to be a smart object, so I can just right click on the layer and rasterize it. And now we need to make a few copies of this picture. We need as many couple copies we have rectangle. To make a copy, I will just hold down Option, click on the layer with the image, and pull on top of the first rectangle. So now you see I duplicated, I made the copy. You can also do Command J and then move it. But the easiest way to do it is just to hold down Option while you drag the image. And now I'll go into my layer. This image is hiding, you see that? It's uh, on top of my first rectangle. So now all I need to do is right click on my layer and go to create clipping mask. And there you go, it appears into our first rectangle. If I turn off this base image, you see we have that one. So now I need to make another copy in front, on top of my second rectangle. So like I said, we can just do Command J if we want to and then drag it. And that is one way, I'll make it visible. And just like before, just right click on the layer and create clipping mask. And there you go, we have our second panel. Now to make this quicker, I will just hold down Option and drag on top of my next one and that will make a copy. Right click on it, create clipping mask and that should give us, oh, it's not visible, give us our third panel. And let's see. I will drag Option, hold down on this one, move on top of the next one, and then right click, create clipping mask, and then we need two more, so Option, pull, drag on top, right click, create clipping mask, and then one last one, hold down Option, drag it on top, right click, create clipping mask. And there is our panel effect. Now I want to put a color on the background because I don't want it to just be white. And also I want to position it a little bit more higher because it's kind of a little bit too low. To position the whole thing higher, I will click on the top layer, click on the bottom layer, not the background. So all the layers are selected and now I can just move them all together and I'll position it somewhere over there. Now, if you decide you do want to move just one of these rectangles, let's say we want to move the very last one, you can just click on rectangle and go Command T, and then you can move it around as you want. Just like that. And now if we want to create a color background, I'll go to the background, and let's see, I'll go to my brush color over here, the swatches, and I'll pick a color from her hair, but I want to make it lighter, I don't want it that dark, so I'll just go with something off-white like this, click OK, 
and now with that color loaded i'll just go to solid color adjustment layer and that looks good to me and as you can see this is how you would create this effect like i said it doesn't have to be rectangles you can do it in squares you can do it in circles you can do whatever shape you want but this is the basic technique for it thank you so much for watching my name is skylar ewing and i'll see you in my next video